Oh no, one of our otters has died. Francisca. Oh, we'll call the vet. I think, was she the old one that we were expecting to die though? I think she may have been. So yeah, that is expected. And now hopefully everyone else is happy with the habitat um, like size. Ooh, it's still a little bit small. I'm gonna struggle to expand the, uh, the navigatable terrain unless we reduce the water area, which we could always do. Um, Oh, one of our giraffe spots died as well. I think what we might do is just remove the water and give them back a little bit of land so that um, they have a bit more land area. Hopefully that has helped out yet. So it's given them a lot more land and they've still got enough water that they're all happy. So that's good. We do just need to make it so they've got less, uh, less short grass and probably more sand, which we can easily do by changing this area we just made into sand, which it probably was before. There we go. Everyone is happy again in the, um, in the otter exhibit. And unfortunately, Rara, not one of our giraffes, one of our oryx, Rara's just died. Bless her. One final thing that you guys mentioned, and I cannot believe how I missed this, because this was part of the inspiration for making our zoo school, is that we didn't put any of the children's education points in here, which is literally ridiculous. I can't believe I didn't do that. So I'm gonna add in some of these uh, education points for the kids so that they can learn about the zoo animals while they're in here. Okay, I think that looks much better. We got some some more education stuff in here. We need to check it's all powered because it's probably, oh no, it is powered. We've got some solar panels around. Ah, oh, it's one right there. So uh, everything should be working nicely on that, which is gonna be really cool for the kids. Seems that Frodo and Sam have grown up now and there's a little bit of fighting that's going on. So I'm gonna release Sam and Frodo into the wild. I think Frodo is this one running. Oh no, that's Bobby. Is this Frodo? Yeah, this is Frodo. I'm gonna release him into the wild as well, get some nice credits, and leave Bill on his own. Bless him, he he's, doesn't have to put up with all of this. Also just gonna train all our staff up to the next level. And King Julian has died, no! Oh, bless him. Oh, he will, he will be missed. Oh, King Julian, we need to have a King Julian Jr. at some point. Um, in fact, is this a little baby? Oh no, that's Scooter, the elderly. <laughs> okay, well, at some point we'll have to get a King Julian Jr. Oh, poor King Julian. Okay, so one of the things I really want to get done in this episode is to build our first restaurant because we haven't got many guest facilities in the Asia section and we do need some. So I actually haven't seen, there's a conservation restaurant here. Whoa, this is insane. Wow, okay, I might use this as a basis and then adapt it for our for our purposes, because that is really cool. Well, I, I don't think we need to use glass for the floor. That's not super conservation-y. Well, I suppose it's not eco-friendly as it's conservation. Oh, wow, this is cool. Wow, oh, that's an entrance. Wow, there's so many good blueprints now. It's amazing. I think I'm gonna start to build out a restaurant using this as a basis.
Okay, so I've just done some minor edits to the uh, to the restaurant to make it a official uh, elephant eco zoo restaurant. I'm by no means going to claim credit for the incredible blueprints that we have. It's actually insane how nice these look. And uh, I've just done a little bit of uh, taking out some some of the steel that we don't need and just adding in some wood and then just putting a few elephant signs on so it looks nice. And also with this area. So now it's officially the uh, the elephant area because um, it's got all these elephant signs. And I think we could probably do with adding a few more um, guest facilities in the form of maybe some counters or something. Wow, conservation shop shelves as well. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to use some of these and just add in some uh, guest facilities here as well, perhaps on the side so that we can get a bit more food and drink for our guests because they've been uh, a little bit on the low side with that kind of stuff. Okay, just added in some extra plants so it looks a little bit different. We've got a couple of these. They've obviously used the same planting on the roof. And now I think if we if we swap out this glass again for something a little bit more, uh, well, wooden, <laughs> then I think we're ready to put some facilities in. Okay, I think that's good. We've just added a little bit of an awning on and uh, I think it's definitely time that we add some facilities into here now. So I'm going to get rid of uh, all of the blueprints and then we're just left with the actual shops themselves. I think what we should probably go with is some coffee and some pizza. There we go. We've got some new uh, facilities in here and an awesome little restaurant that you can see into the kitchen for, which I think is really cool. Now we're going to have to put these into a new work zone. So we're going to put the three of these in along with this staff room here and call this, uh, what should we call it? It should be Asian guest facilities. Um, got entrance guest facilities and then we've got Africa entrance. Okay, so maybe this should be Asia entrance guest facilities and then we need to make sure we add the correct staff in so we want to have our new vendors who just arrived who are currently assigned to the cafe let's have them on asia entrance guest facilities and i think we'll probably add a couple let's add another vendor and just have them to circulate in with everyone else as well just going to get another mechanic as well just to keep on top of the repairs that we've got going on of all of the uh uh, all of the facilities like the solar panels and water pumps etc and yeah i think this is quite a good little addition we've got a little uh bit for our guests they've been they've been missing out as of late on these kind of things uh, we do need to put in some barriers here probably to stop guests from just walking through this area um so i'm just gonna add them in now there 
There you go. And now guests won't just walk through this this building. Um, they'll they'll go around the uh, actual walkable areas, which is good. Just gonna fix these areas that we've got to fix. Okay, so now we've built this cool little uh, guest area. I think it's definitely time that we get the animals for this episode, which is the Indian elephant. Wow, these are very expensive. Uh, luckily, we can afford to get a couple of females probably. So let's have a look at them on here and see what kind of groups they need to live in. So they're endangered. They need to live three to five. Um, we're at least three and we need one male if we can get one so they can be breeding breeding pairs or breeding groups. <laughs> I guess it's groups. The males here are incredibly expensive. Uh, we may be able to get one a little bit cheaper a bit later into the zoo. But for now, let's just grab a few females who look good. Like this one looks like a good female. Um, this one is fine. I know that just taking note of their age as well. They're about 26. Okay. How old do they live? I think they live quite a long. Yes, yeah, 61. They live ages. Right, so let's get that last female as well. And we can get a male. I'm going to grab this male who's a bit cheaper. And whilst that was very expensive, we now have three females and one male. So that's pretty good. We've also just finished some vet research for our Komodo dragons. That's awesome. I wonder what we got from that actually. Let's have a quick look. Vet research on Komodo dragon. We got some toy enrichment and food level two. Okay, so we should definitely... Oh, I've just gone straight past them. They're right here. We should definitely add that in because our Komodo dragons need more. And oh, what did we get? We just got sprinkler, I think, which we already had. Ah, okay. Well, we'll get more on the next one. They can have a bit more. They're loving the sprinkler. Look at them. They just, they need food enrichment more than anything else. But we'll get that soon. And we've, is that finished? The iguana research? We have. Perfect. Okay, now we can set one of our, our vets to do the pangolins, maybe. We haven't had any research yet. And we should now go and make sure that all of these exhibits are as good as they can possibly be. Okay, so starting with our goliath frogs, they need all these tropical plants adding in and we can add in all the misters. Cool. Okay, so they're on 100% happiness now. And our iguanas have some rocks. Ah, and then some basking lamps. That's cool. Can't see them in here. Oh, we've only got one iguana in here and she's elderly. Oh, we need more iguanas. Let's get these. Lesser Antillian iguana. Let's get a male in here and see if he can save the, the species. Carry on. There you go. There's both of them in there now. We're also missing a male uh, frog. They must have just died. I guess that's the problem. Goliath frog. Let's get this male. Send him straight to the exhibit. You can send the exhibit animals straight to there because you can't send them to quarantine. So that's why I'm doing that. Whereas normally I send animals to quarantine first. Let's check up on our axolotls because I think, yeah, you can always have, you can have more of these. So that's why they're, they're never going out of, of numbers. The last habitat we have to do is the lemon's poison frog. He's also missing a female. Oh, we can't get more, but we can make this one frog very happy in the meantime. We need to remember to add more in. So let's get some tropical plants in and all the misters. And they should be very happy. Yeah, incredibly happy. So that's good. One other thing you guys mentioned is whilst the balloons are very cute, they're not exactly in keeping with the uh, eco-friendly theme that we've got for the zoo. And whilst I think uh, biodegradable balloons are funny, I think we should maybe just delete this shop um, and get in. Oh, they're very disappointed. They wanted their balloon. I think it's probably better that we add in just a memento so they can get some, some souvenirs, which are perhaps a little bit better. Yeah, you got some some books, cuddly toys, t-shirts. We're going to assume that these and adoption packs. So, you know, these are definitely more eco-friendly than, than the balloons. <laughs> oh, no. Theo's got low welfare. Oh, they're hungry. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> they were just rolling around with the sprinkler. That's so adorable. Uh, well, you're quite happy other than the, the food issue. Have you got a feeder? You've got loads of feeders. 
In fact, I think we should probably move this one over to this side of the habitat. So there's a bit more over there. Um, I don't know what you'd be complaining about. I'm hoping it's just that the keepers aren't uh, as trained up yet. So they're not as efficient as they should be. But we'll get there. We'll get there with them. Um, obviously, people aren't going to be able to see them as well over here. But they can come down here and get a view from across here. And I don't think it's the most important thing that... Oh, the inspectors arrived. I thought they just left. Um, I don't think it's the most important thing that guests see the animals constantly. Um, and that's the focus of the zoo. I think the focus of the zoo is conserving the species. And then guests coming to see animals is great when they can get a good view. But if they can't, then that's kind of too bad. Um, so the plan for this habitat is... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Just as I was about to build the habitat, we got some fighting. Because Moto Moto has had another feisty son who wants to take him down. I'm going to release you into the wild, my friend. 300 again! Oh, they're always amazing. Keep breeding. Keep doing it, man. Keep going. If you could have any uh, daughters, that'd be good as well. Um, I wonder what group sizes they live in. Because at the minute, it's just Gloria and Moto Moto. But there's probably room for more. And maybe we should get another female in. Yeah, one male, three females. Okay, let's have a see. See if there's any uh, female pick me hippos and then if if there are let's go for it there are definitely some extras right well maybe we should get one of these these are quite cheap i want to grab this one is nine seems fine oh this one's four as well maybe i'll tell you what let's get let's get two two extra females is very good we need to add all of these to quarantine so let's send all of our animals to quarantine oh some boomerfu about to die of old age as well. Oh, this is getting too sad. Oh, bless him. Well, you'll be missed. Look at how many lemurs we have. Look at them climbing around. They're so cool. Wow, look at this. A little party over here. Oh my goodness, we've got dangerous fighting because Mr. Boo Boo has grown up. The first bear we're releasing into the wild. Let's see how many credits we get for him. Only 93. Okay, that's, uh, that's a, <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed, if I'm honest. I thought it'd be more. Uh, but 93 credits is 93 credits, so I will take it. Now, it's definitely time to add in the at least the, the barrier area for our new habitat, which is going to house some beautiful Indian elephants. I cannot wait. Oh, we need to check what uh, barrier they need, actually. They might need something a little bit stronger than uh, than wood. What do you need? Grade four. Okay. We, we can do this. Grade four and above two meters. And they need, oh, probably quite a lot of room. If we need four, let's say we've got six babies and six adults. Okay, something like that. Hmm, we're going to need quite a big habitat, which is good because that was the plan. Grade four, though, we are now looking at... We could use red bricks... I'm resistant to use steel mesh, really. Um, or we're going to result to using some rocks. So the plan for this habitat is to have not only the Indian elephants, but also the proboscis monkey in it. And these guys have a grade three climb proof, which is wood um, with the climb proof uh, protection on the top. And they need it to be 4.5 meters or higher. So we can easily do that with the wooden logs and it will keep it like in keeping with the rest of the zoo. And it will be eco-friendly by using timber but it's not strong enough for the Indian elephants. So my plan is to do a wooden habitat uh, that would fit the monkeys and then put some rocks that kind of line the bottom of the barriers so that the elephants can never actually reach the barriers. So the rocks are going to be the barrier for the elephants and the wooden logs are going to be the barrier for the monkeys.
Okay, that's quite a big habitat we've made for them. It's 6,000 square meters, but it does need to be big. We've also got a few exhibit animals, which we're just going to quick trade out of the zoo. And I'm going to make sure that all of our animals are on the top food quality that they can be on. Um, because some of them have had... Yeah, like that's gone from grade three, grade one to grade three because we didn't um, update it. So I just want to make sure that any vet research is being applied and everyone's on the highest food quality that they could be on. All of our elephants have just passed their quarantine as well. So I'm going to move the elephants into the new habitat we've just created. Habitat 53, soon to be known as Indian elephants and proboscis monkeys. Is that how you say it? Pro pro proboscis. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's definitely how you spell it. So <laughs> uh, we've got that. We're going to send them over there. And then we also need to send our hippos to their pygmy hippo habitat. Again, if you've got any names that you want elephants or hippos to be named or any other animal, honestly, just pop them in the comments and I'll add them to the name list and hopefully we can do some renaming soon. Oh no, Killer Queen's died as well. Oh my goodness, we're going to be running, uh, running low on Oryx now. Oh no, we don't want to see them. I'm glad they're all they're all okay though. Oh, okay, well. Pippi Longstocking's elderly. Should have checked the age on that one again, but oh well. They've at least, she's at least in there and we'll have babies soon. We've got quite a few uh, female or, uh, Oryx, so I'm not really particularly worried about that. Um, oh, and Spirit's Welfare. What's wrong with Spirit's Welfare? I see he's absolutely fine. It must have been that he was like hungry or something and then they fed him. I don't know. But um, that'll be sorted out soon, hopefully. Going to add in some one-way glass as well along this barrier, just to all the areas that the guests are actually going to be looking at. Okay, that's much better. Now all the guests can see in, but they can't see out. And I can see our caretakers running along with these elephants, and I cannot wait to see what they look like. Oh, before we go in, I'm just going to quickly take this out. I didn't realize that was sticking into the habitat. Uh, we used to delete this. That looks a bit weird. Um, and let's see what these elephants look like. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, they're all just going to come on top of each other. It's going to be a massive bundle. Well, I think I can tell which the adult ones are. Or maybe the adults are the small ones of the species. No, no, it's definitely those. My goodness, look how massive this uh, this male is. Why why would you do Oh, you're sitting down. I thought you were doing a poo. I swear, every time I zoom in on the animals, they immediately do a poo. They're all just sitting down. Oh, they're so cute. Look at, look at them. Wow. Oh, these are these are amazing. We're definitely going to have to up our ticket prices now we've got these as well. Look how beautiful they are. Wow. We will be continuing this habitat in the next episode. So if you have liked this episode, please give it a like. It really helps the channel out and I'll see you in the next one.